and then controller packages we, we annotate. Uh, this is the uh, controllers and this is the request mapping, the standard structure or pattern, but maybe you, you can talk to the your, your, your team leads or your, your, your colleagues how or your company, how they, they define the your patterns of each of the your microservice uh, controller applications or controller endpoints definitions, the base and uh, base endpoints. So if you see the base endpoint API, that is user registration, a role, and then we also define the same structure API, user registrations, and then uh, in the user UDA, this is a different way of user detail information. That, that doesn't matter how it can define, and it's depending how the your company would like to define the, the request mapping URL, base URL path. So let's have a look at the controller, integration controller. We define the mappings, the base URL path, and we inject the developments. And this is the one of the part that I need to discuss. What I did, just like here, the open API uh, configurations, the, like here we said that uh, the text, and then it's provide the name of the your, your service definition, exactly the, the service definition where user registration services, what we define here, and you can see uh, in the GUI, user registration service definitions, so user registration service, user registration service uh, APIs on online. So that's what we define the we define the your, your, your static files. So you see the online user registration. So I put it like this way. This so all the for the service definition, all the text information, description of the files. You can just put it here and do the program. Is what we like to do. But it's depending how we program it. But maybe you can make a maps. Or you can make a properties file to to, to, to write down or to, to make it like very easy or very simple. And just, but I found one of the way how can you program it like that way. So you put it there like one one static final variables. You can just put it all the static values there, and then these values can be used into the where you need it. Just that means if you need something change or to make misspell it or something change, just simply change it and everything will not be change it in inside your program code. You need, don't need to be manually to insert everything into the inside the program code. So it's a name, it has a description, that's what it's cast, the eighth level, and it has the kind of annotations like the Swagger, Swagger, Open API annotations. So it has the op op operations, it has a name summary, and then it has a description, that's what you are showing here. Then the ATCC, the, the operation names, it has the update, you know, on existing user registrations, view all list of available register user, and so on and so forth. This is all the how many description, how much description you included into the Swagger UI the API documentation up to you or up to your 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 your, 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 your company requirements. It doesn't matter how much. It is depend on the company requirements or your your team needs requirements. So I just initially started. How can you do the uh, do the start the really proper documentation each of the functions so i just like give it to you template one sort of template give it idea how can you do it so it's a api uh, response you can add, include the response response code descriptions and then and so on so forth i didn't have completed it yet but i put it like only this the get methods uh, and then also the update methods to to give it some some other descriptions tag levels and then api responses api response each of the input methods you can do what you would like to do just all the parameters. You have a lot of possibility uh, for the Open API specification. You can do really more description uh, for for your REST API control, the REST API, uh, REST API documentations with the Swagger UI two or three or Open API specification. That's the reason I say to you, and uh, that's up to you how how much how how, how much you can load the your description files or how much you you rent clients or your customer would like to. Take to See the description of a file to to to, to define the UDS API endpoints, and they can see it, and they can clearly understand how it is works, how the functionalities works, or it is really help the the front end developer how how the front end developer can call the your microservices application, how the input and output, and this that really help the 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 front end developer how can do it, how can you manipulate it, how can you man manage those things together. So that means we define the controller as with uh, with uh, with the specified uh, our descriptions. Specified by mean the how much you try to eat each of the functions that include it, and then do the your descriptions. It's automatically render to the your your Swagger UI. So that the uh, configuration here. This now we need to be discussed a little bit more detail about the configurations part. 
So we set the configuration packet that I said into the professional structure. So we have a open API configurations and the class that we defined. This is a very simple configuration annotation that I already said. Those are new into the configuration use use cases. And how can you use it? Where can you use it? And then you can just Google it or look for my previous screencast that I will define this. So you see, we define the open, just very simple open API, the creating the simple beans uh, with the configuration annotations, the class annotations. We define the custom open beans. We pass the, all the meta information and we also use some values from the .eml file that we all discuss into the EML files is here. So you see the application that EML file we define some some values to, to be read from there. So application dot description, application dot version number. So we read directly the values, value notation, read these properties and the value from the from the application EML files. So maybe you have another files that you need to simply read it, these files uh, from the class path or some uh, some locations. But I put it like this. So it's a default settings with the description of the file that you saw into the into the Swagger UI. You see the user registration based API. That's what we find in here. The meta information, uh, user registration based API, meta information. You can pass also the groups, versions, team, license, URL, and so on, so forth. All things. So you can also the Open API speak. You can also define the group the. Uh, group that you your, your service functionalities user registration user role user detail user profile you can also profile it like you can saw here the, the informations you can also go by this thing together it depends how we can configure how can we do it 